welcome to a very quick road trip vlog a days. I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas and holiday season. We are in the car road tripping back home. I wanted to vlog a lot more this morning, but we had torrential downpours and then we had crazy winds and then my camera was packed away in the bag so <laughs> i wasn't able to share we went through a couple states that i didn't get on video but now we're stopped at a rest stop kind of in the middle of nowhere i think we're somewhere in arkansas and we are going to pick up some subway sandwiches for lunch you can see my sweet puppy dog back there she's panting a little bit just because she doesn't love it in the back and i don't blame her but she is being the best road trip doggy ever so I'm actually just doing some reading, chatting with my hubby, and I'm working on a vlog for you guys. Just thought I would share a little bit of my road trip with you today and hope all is well in your world. Hi Daphne, she is already over this trip. Okay. We are only a couple of hours in and she's not having it. Oh, there. Daddy is working his magic. Mm. Hi sweetie, are you tired? We built her a little bed back there. You want to lay down on your pillow, sweet girl? Nope, she's kind of done. Here's the hubs. Got some water. This is our lunch of champions, some Subway. These are awesome if you're a foodie. Got these at Sprouts. Bacon habanero. Whew, made with organic corn. And then from Trader Joe's, the cranberry and pumpkin seed pita crisps. Got one of the old REM CDs in there. It has dropped down about... 10 15 degrees and the wind is crazy fierce so we are getting back on the road making our way slowly but surely back to texas Well, we're in the middle of our road trip, so I thought I'd do a quick check-in. We just stopped again for gas and to switch drivers. You can see my puppy dog back there. <laughs> my hubby just went in to use the restroom and she always watches for him until he comes back. Nothing really exciting to report. Sorry, this is not a riveting vlog, but I think it's better to have it be ho-hum and trouble-free when you are driving home. I've been getting a lot of reading done on this trip. I got a couple of library books read, so I'm trying to get as many of my books that I started and hadn't finished read before the end of the year. I've been reading aloud to my husband. This is one of my library books that I'm trying to get read before I return it. Um, the Kitchen Counter Cooking School, it is so, so good. It is a wonderful food memoir, and um, uh, the chef Kathleen Flynn, who wrote it, did a cooking class with a bunch of people that um, had never cooked or had problems cooking. And each chapter is on um, something new that anyone can learn about cooking in it. It's so good and there's so many, so many recipes. So if you're looking for food memoir, this is perfect. My husband is checking on something there in the back. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're going to get situated and I'm gonna get in the driver's seat and get some driving on in this. Fun little road trip. Now I'm in, you know, I'm almost 50. I need to get things going here. Should we shoot something? <laughs> <laughs> So we are at a quick rest stop here and um, I am trying out my new phone mount in my car and I really like this. I actually looked online at Amazon for a long time because I wanted to find a car mount that I could put my phone in so that primarily I can use it for a GPS when I'm driving. But if I'm parked or I'm in a safe position or I'm not looking at the camera and I wanted to vlog in the car, um, I wanted to be able to put my phone in it and I really like it. Um, I got this one actually at my Kroger grocery store and I 
want to say it was 15 or 20 bucks and if I can find the link online I'll put that link to this down below because I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon and probably cheaper than how I found it. It's got a little clip and so my phone fits in it and it's pretty awesome. Getting ready to get into an area where there's a lot of traffic and there were a lot of tornadoes during the holiday season and one of these areas apparently has been blocked off on the highway so we're trying to find another route. You don't want to be driving into really bad weather tonight. It's cold but it's really clear and beautiful um, as you've hopefully seen from some of the sky shots. Uh, that I just showed you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a potty break and get back on the road. Is it time for a speech or for silence? Is this childlike, simple road history? Is it complex, deciphering mystery? Is this blessing or ill gotten? All right, I think we're finally at our last rest stop and it is very cold, finally. It was quite balmy and warm where we were in the South for Thanksgiving and the temperature was, my husband is looking at me in the mirror thinking, are you vlogging? Shouldn't you be in there taking a potty break? Which I'm going to do, but very quickly. It was in the 70s, I think, when we left and now about nine hours later, it is 32 degrees. So I have my coat and my scarf on now and I'm gonna run inside and take a quick potty break and get some water and um, we're gonna walk our dog around for a few minutes and then we are gonna head home, yay, on the home stretch of this road trip. Yay, we are finally home. Since it is so late, we are going to one of my very, 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 very favorite delis. I'll take you inside so we can get some dinner. Perfect place to vlog. <laughs> Look at this. Apparently, if you want that Malbec, it's only $7.99. How funny is that? All right, this place is amazing. It reminds me of Zabar's in New York City. It's awesome. They have incredible salads. This is my favorite tabbouleh salad in the whole world. And I'm looking for this other salad I really love. This Bombay curry chicken will change your life. I am going to order some stuff right now. <laughs> Someone help me out. Hi! And lots of fun wine. They have really big samples out on the corner. Look at this awesomeness. Grilled chickens, grilled pork chops, fresh focaccia bread. It's like a foodie's paradise. Look at that delicious broccoli and green beans. It's really yummy with the salmon. And there is their big huge rotisserie in the back. I cannot decide what to eat. I am so hungry, I could eat all of it. And then they have a whole pasta bar over here. Lots of cheeses, lots of wine. And then, let's see, they also have an amazing salad bar here. This is their pasta bar. Um, lots of sushi over there. Usually they have a salad bar. Oh, it's right over here. Some of the best salads I've ever had. Okay, enough with all of the vlogging footage. It is time to get some dinner. Here we are, home sweet home. Yay, we made it in under 11 hours. It was a 10 hour trip and it took longer than normal because we had to stop a couple extra times. The weather was crazy when we first started and um, then on our way home, we actually had to take a different. You always do that. He always does that. He always does something where he like tries to sneak into the frame and then it startles me. <laughs> He's unloading the car. He's being awesome. I had unloaded a little bit before we ate dinner and so he is finishing up. <laughs> anyway, um, on our way back, we had to take a detour because there was a lot of accidents on the highway that we would normally take home. We got home, we were so hungry. We came in and unloaded our food and brought the dog in. And let me show you what I chowed down on for dinner. This is awesome pasta. It was a penne whole wheat pasta with vodka sauce. And I had them put mushrooms and spinach, a little bit of chicken and garlic. And this is tabbouleh salad. It is my favorite tabbouleh salad in the world, which is a cracked wheat 
salad. So it's got like cracked wheat and tomatoes and cucumbers and parsley, and it's like a lemon vinaigrette on it. And it's so, so, so good. So we have a fire in the fireplace, which makes me so happy. We were watching Food Network for a little while. We're not watching whatever's on right now, but we were watching Food Network because we love it. Daphne is happily on her little bed. Daphne dog. You have this like serious expression on your face. It's just because she's tired. She's so happy to be home. We have not cleaned up our Christmas stuff yet, but I kind of like that. So there are some of our holiday pillows. I'm gonna help my husband unload stuff. He's bringing it in from the car and I'm going to put stuff away in the kitchen and in our bedroom. And I'm gonna put my food away so that I have leftovers for tomorrow for lunch and dinner, which is awesome. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on our road trip. I'm sorry if it was a little bit boring. <laughs> Question for you guys that I would love to hear the answers to in the comments. Let me know in the comments the types of videos you're interested in seeing. Do you wanna see more vlogs? Do you wanna see more unboxing videos, haul videos, videos on essential oils, on healthy living, on theater? Um, these are all topics that I plan on covering in the new year. But I'm just curious if you guys have certain videos that you like to watch my channel for specifically. I would love to hear that in the comments so that I can plan my content for you guys and plan on sharing stuff that you really want to see. But I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. I would love for you to be a part of my journey here on YouTube. And uh, check out my blog as well. It's allmannerofinspiration.com. I will put the link down below to my blog. So I hope you're liking these vlog -a days videos. I hope you've been enjoying them this month and I'm sorry they've been sporadic, but it has been really fun for me to do vlogging more often and I'm hoping to share more vlogs with you in the new year as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog now uh, so we can get settled in. I'm so glad we're home sweet home. Hope you guys are doing great wherever you are. Take care on the other side of that screen and I will see you back here soon. Bye.